Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. And today we are applying our video that we recently published of simplifying strategies for answering questions on your registration exam. If you missed that video, you can catch the replay on YouTube or on our Facebook page. And basically, I will talk about it in this question, but we use an acronym or a mnemonic that is STOP, S-T-O-P, and I will apply that to this question. So go catch that on the replay and then come back and join me. So how this works is the stem of the question is gonna be posted above, um, the possible answers. I want you guys to comment what you think the right answer is. Don't be shy, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, that's completely fine, um, below, and then I will go through the possible questions and give you the rationale to what the right answer is. So our question is as follows. The nurse is developing a care plan for the patient diagnosed with congestive heart failure also known as CHF. The patient has three plus pitting edema to the lower legs, extreme dyspnea at rest, and crackles in their bilateral lungs. The patient is prescribed furosemide, also known as Lasix, 40 milligrams IV BID, or twice a day. Which of the following options will you include as nursing interventions for this patient? Select all that apply. So if we use the STOP acronym here, S stands for simplify it. So before you even look at these possible options, I want you to ask yourself, what is this question wanting to know if I know? This question wants to know, do you know what congestive heart failure is? Do you know um, the signs and symptoms of it? Do you know the treatments for it? Do you know the nursing interventions you will apply for it? We do have a full page in our textbook on a few pages actually that talk about congestive heart failure. Um, if you're studying with us, you're gonna know the answers to all of these questions because they are in the textbook. Um, but we're gonna go through them one by one. The next step in the STOP acronym is take a moment. So take a moment, don't look at the possible answers and think about what do I know about heart failure? So I know the heart is a pump, um, fluid backs up if it's not moving forward, you're gonna have crackles in the lungs, left-sided heart failure backs up into the lungs, right-sided heart failure backs up to the rest of the body. We did previously share videos on making the heart easy. Um, so we invite you to watch that video as well. So think about everything you know about congestive heart failure. The next um, option is order it in the STOP acronym. That applies mostly to prioritization questions, which this is not, so we're gonna skip over that one. And the third one is pick it. Now, this is different when you're talking about a select all that apply question, which this is. The best strategy for that is to treat all of those options as a true or false, and I'll demonstrate that for you. So we know we have an exacerbated congestive heart failure patient. We know they have edema, so right-sided heart failure backing up to the rest of the body. We know they have crackles, so left-sided heart failure backing up into the lungs. We know they're on Lasix. What do we know about Lasix? It's a loop diuretic, um, causes massive urination, which is how we get rid of volume and get rid of blood pressure. It also takes with it what very important electrolyte? potassium, right? It's not a potassium sparing diuretic, so it also depletes the body of potassium. So we already know so much before we're even thinking about the possible answers. So we're gonna treat them as a true false. A, keep the patient's legs below the level of the heart. True or false? If they have peripheral edema in their lower legs, do you wanna keep their legs hanging down lower? No, that's false. You wanna raise their legs up to help that fluid come back up to the heart. So we're not gonna choose A. B, daily weights. Do you do daily weights on a congestive heart failure patient that's also getting Lasix? True, absolutely. The rules that down da around daily weights, if you're a part of our program, you'll know we care about plus or minus two pounds. Same scale, same clothes, same time of day. Monitor potassium daily. Yes, that is true. We're gonna monitor potassium because we are giving Lasix and Lasix depletes the body's, the body's potassium stores. D, fluid restriction of four liters of fluid per day. That is false. Somebody who's on fluid restriction for congestive heart failure will be getting like two liters of fluid or less, probably less. Four liters of fluid is a lot and we need to decrease the workload on the heart. So that's false, we're not gonna choose that. And E, monitor intake and output. Very, very important whenever somebody's on a diuretic that we're keeping track of intake and output, so that is true. Yes, we are gonna choose that one. So our correct answer then in our select all that apply is A, daily weight, or sorry, B, daily weights, 
C, monitor potassium daily, and E, monitor intake and output. So we are going to choose B, C, and E for what we are going to include in our care plan for a patient with congestive heart failure. For the answer to this question and more, for all concepts simplified on your registration exam, check out our complete study packages on our website. We guarantee you will pass or we'll give you your money back. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time on In the Know. Bye for now.